All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. ACDC, as you know, they are probably the best news this year of 2020. I can't think of any story that really tops uh, the return of ACDC to um, you know, the recording industry and so forth as they put out a brand new album. Uh, Angus Young has told Rock 105.5's The Angie Taylor Show that ACDC's latest single, Shot in the Dark, should immediately dispel any question about whether he and his bandmates have reinvented their sound. Uh, with ripping guitars, a pulsating backbeat, and the guttural howls of singer Brian Johnson, the track comes across like it could fit right in with some of ACDC's other classics. And that's the point. We want it to sound like ACDC. Um, he goes on to say, that's what we aim for. We always aim for to get tracks that are powerful than whoever hears them. We want them instantly to recognize it's ACDC and no one else. Yeah. Um, if any band ever had a signature sound, it's ACDC. So he goes on, if you add all the elements together, especially all the guitars, and the guitars are very much up front, which, again, one of the reasons we love this band. Um, he says, we're very much a guitar band. Yeah, um, there's really been no straying from that idea since the band's inception. Um, right around the 1990 period, um, you know, when Thunderstruck was popular, uh, the band strayed a little bit from that more basic production that they did. Um, their producer, I think, was more inclined to make them sound more like, say, Bon Jovi or something with those background vocals and so forth. But as time uh, kind of went on, the band basically went back to the basics, and you can really hear that um, probably on the last three albums. This new album... I, I think it's right in the same mold as Rock or Bust and Black Ice, which is one of my favorite ACDC albums. Um, it's minimalist production. That's what makes this work. Um, they just let the boys do what they do, and they stay out of the way. And Brian Johnson, uh, it's amazing that he sings the way he does at his age. It's something that people don't talk about. He has just really held it together. Um, if you're a radio listener, the first thing you want to do, you want to know that it's ACDC and um, the track you hear just cuts through it all and you just know. So, yes, this is one of the reasons ACDC is the best thing so far in 2020. He goes on, even when we're writing, putting new, putting new songs together and creating, that's always the purpose. They had to immediately have that ACDC sound that just jumps out at you. Shot in the Dark is the first single, obviously. I'm sure you've been hearing that. And even on the radio, getting substantial radio airplay over at Mainstream Rock. Uh, Power Up, the album, is due out in just a few days on November 13th. So uh, you might want to pre-order your copy. I think I'm actually going to go to the store and buy a copy. Because I hear it's going to be physically present at the store. And I like to do that now and then. Um, stores that I think are going to be carrying it would be Target and Walmart. So uh, you might want to grab your face diaper and get on over and grab yourself a copy. I'm not sure if they're going to have that limited edition box set that lights up. It would be the perfect stocking stuffer if you keep it off and those lights don't go on inside the stocking. And if you wrap it up tight, you might be able to put it under the tree. But instead of getting the mistress for Christmas, you can actually get the brand new ACDC album, which I bet you is going to be chock full of soon-to-be classic music from a band that came back at the perfect time. Uh, I know they're probably just uh, itching to go out on tour. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully that will happen in 2021. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And yes, Patreon, if you can do it, it's just a dollar a month. I've had some great conversations with folks from all over the globe over there. People from Australia, uh, people from New Zealand, people from Europe. 
um, all over the place. So it's an international following. It's a little scary and weird to think about that, but I appreciate everybody who has uh, followed the channel and subscribed. Thanks again, and we'll talk soon.